Hey everybody, it's Isaac here from Cambridge Foods by Isaac. I know it's been a while since I've made a new video. I apologize for that. I've been really busy working hard on my website as well as trying to launch my products on Amazon. Um, I know many people like to shop on Amazon and they rack up points they like to use to get some free stuff, me included. So I'm trying to make that work for you guys. In the meantime, if you do want to get some Cambridge products, be sure to go to my website, cambridgedietstore.com. And uh, there's a link there where you can make a purchase, create an account, and buy straight from the manufacturer. And uh, custom choose whatever you like. So anyway, the purpose of this video today is, as you can see, I'm in a t-shirt here. It's kind of a hot and muggy night. And I thought, what great snack can I make with Cambridge products today? I came up with a great idea to make Cambridge ice cream. So I'm going to show you how to make that in just a minute. And uh, I'm just going to adjust the camera, and I'll be right back. What I have here, I'm going to open up this container and you're going to see I have a frozen banana here. This is just one banana broken into little pieces. You're going to dump that into a blender and try to separate your pieces. There we go. And to that, you're going to add one serving of whatever Cambridge uh, shake product. Today I'm using uh, Food for Life Vanilla. So for the Food for Life brand, you're going to use two scoops. This is a great way for you to use up a flavor that maybe you're not too fond of um, as a shake. There are some flavors, you know, we're all different, we have different tastes, and what some people love, some of us don't. I'm not a huge fan of the Cambridge um, Food for Life vanilla. I haven't tried the other vanillas yet, but I will say it makes a great ice cream. So for this, there's two scoops, and let me just seal that package up. And if you see a little spot on the screen, that is a fruit fly. It's summertime. I have bananas, and the fruit flies like to pay a visit. So to this now, all I'm going to do is add a little splash of milk. I am using um, sweetened vanilla almond milk, just enough to get it a little wet, maybe a tablespoon or so, and that's sufficient. So now you want to make sure that whatever blender you're using is strong enough to crush ice. So I'm using my Ninja Kitchen blender here, and all I'm going to do is put on the lid. Now be prepared, this is going to get loud. So, and that's not on right. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're just going to pulverize this. So ready? Here we go. Cover your ears. Okay, so let me take the lid off and do a little inspection. It's looking pretty good. I do want to scrape down the sides, so let me just take my spoon here, make sure that we get all of the frozen banana in there. Don't want any chunks in your vanilla ice cream. But uh, there's another fruit fly. <laughs> so, okay. I think, I think I'm good. Just going to give you one last word in here and we are done. So back again with the lid. And one more pulse. Cover your ears. Okay. And that's it. So now we're just going to take the lid off and transfer this to a bowl. So I'm going to be right back with it nice and ready to present. Transferred the ice cream into a bowl. Now I apologize, it's melting a little bit because it's hot out and I've had to move the camera around and position things a little bit. So when you make this, you want to eat this right away. But basically, just one frozen banana. A large banana is going to be about 120 calories or so. And then of course the calories for your shake, which doesn't count anyway because that's part of what you're supposed to have. And now with this, I'll just stir this around. You can see the consistency. It's like a soft serve, which is very good. And if you want to treat yourself, you can add sprinkles, you can add um, sauces, and you want to make sure you get either sugar-free, low-calorie versions. As long as you count your calories, you can really have whatever you want on the Cambridge diet. Today, I am putting chocolate chips. Now, a tablespoon of chocolate chips is about 70 calories. I am going to just shake out a few, maybe a little bit more than a tablespoon, you know. Let's treat ourselves a little bit here. Okay, it's probably about maybe two tablespoons. That's okay. I'm comfortable with that. I've been a good boy today. 
So we mix all this together and we've got chocolate chip ice cream. Now, of course, if it gets too melty, you can pop it back in the freezer for a little while to stiffen up. But I think it's good just like this. So let me just change the camera and you're going to see me enjoy this. Okay, guys, so here it is, the Cambridge chocolate chip vanilla ice cream. Uh, again, made with one frozen banana broken into pieces, a splash of almond milk that may be about eight calories. You can even use water if you want. And um, about two tablespoons of chocolate chips. So altogether, this is probably around 250 calories, and I say calories well spent. This counts as one serving of a Cambridge shake, and you get to eat ice cream. So I'm gonna enjoy this now. Uh, guys, I do wanna let you know that um, this is gonna be the last video I make on YouTube showing the Cambridge um, products that I mix with things. Reason being, a lot of distributors have been sharing my videos in which they're on YouTube, they're public, so anybody can do what they want, but I wanna make sure that I'm making these videos for my clients, my customers, to help them to learn how to better use Cambridge products. So I'm gonna be adding more videos exclusively to my website just for my customers. If you are under somebody else right now and um, you're not getting the coaching and um, support and ideas like this that you need, feel free to jump onto my team, I'd be happy to have you. Um, just reach out to me at cambridgedietstore.com. I do have an email address there. Send me a message and I'll uh, add you to my team. So again, friends, thank you for watching. Have a great day. And now I'm going to enjoy some ice cream. Click the subscribe button to learn more about the Cambridge program, the product reviews, or some great recipes.